Today we are going to create an ad hoc analysis on sales, supply chain, and customer data using flat files. Also, a lot of times there is a need to replace data sources. After we complete the analysis, we will replace the files with a connection to Amazon Redshift and SAP HANA. To start, we can use Spotfire 10's new natural language search that will use the recommendation engine to suggest visualizations. We are interested in creating a drill down. This allows the first bar chart to limit the data on the second visualization based on its markings. We see that there exists two regions in the underlying data, SW and Southwest. This can be easily corrected in the analysis by grouping marked items. Next, we want to add more data. We can search for it as well as browse to local files. We have added cost of goods and a supply routes shapefile. Let's investigate why the Northeast has a negative profit margin for refrigerators unlike the rest of the regions. We'll create a scatter plot to look into this further. Spotfire 10 automatically detects relationships in the sales data and the newly added cost of goods data. We are able to use data from both tables in one visualization in a few clicks. After doing so, we understand that the profit margin is normal except in Philadelphia where there is a significant cost of goods. Now that we understand the problem, we can move on to replacing the data source with Amazon Redshift where the most up-to-date data is located. We see in the data canvas, thanks to our automatic data lineage, that we transformed the data earlier when we grouped the marked data. We can click replace and select Amazon Redshift from the long list of connectors. We have the option to import, load data on demand, or keep data external. In this case, we will import the data. Now we see that Amazon Redshift is the new data source. Additionally, the table and analysis still maintains the transformation we created earlier, so no further rework is needed. Returning to the analysis, all the visualizations are now populated by the Amazon Redshift data source. Let's add a line chart to verify the data is up to date. It appears that the order date column is formatted as a string in the Redshift database. Returning to the data canvas, we can add a transformation to the data as it is imported into the analysis. We can easily switch the date time to date format instead of the string format. Returning to the analysis, we can now add a time hierarchy to the x-axis. That looks much better. Now we can combine the data from Redshift with the shapefile data added earlier in a map chart. Spotfire 10 makes it very easy to drag and drop columns right onto the map chart, automatically creating dynamic layers. We can make this chart more consumable by changing a couple colors and a few of the properties. There, now we have a map chart mixing multiple data sources. Finally, we would like to replace the customer table file with the SAP HANA data source. Just as before, we navigate to the data canvas and replace it. This table we can leave external. Navigating to the analysis to the customer lookup page, this page provides a single view into both sales data located on Amazon Redshift and customer details data located on SAP HANA. The customer lookup on the left is a filter that will filter all visualizations in case there's a need to look up a specific customer. The tree map contains each individual customer and is sized by how much sales each customer has had. Additionally, it is colored by profit, so darker purple customers have higher profit margins. We can select one customer from the tree map and in two clicks forecast future sales in the line chart. In summary, we conducted an ad hoc analysis on sales and supply chain data, allowing us to understand the root cause of negative profit in the Northeast region. We were easily able to replace the text files with connections to Amazon Redshift and SAP HANA without having to do any rework and while maintaining all data transformations. Mm -hmm.